Welcome to Craft Time with Miss Sissy. Today we are going to be doing popped bubble art. Here are the instructions for today's craft. Alright, following our instructions, the materials that we need are bubble mix, bubble wands, which I have right here, food coloring, and I really like this small pack that McCormick does. They are itty bitty food colorings that are perfect for crafts and activities that you use throughout the year. And also I need a sheet of paper, which I have right here. And also you needed some bowls for your different food colors and each bowl I put a spoon in. Let's get started. I've already pre-mixed the red, the yellow, and the blue, so I'm going to mix the green with you. All right, we needed a tablespoon. Now remember, tablespoon is TBS or TBSP. The spoons I'm using today just say TBS, and I love that they're color-coded. So I know that the purple one is the one that I would like. So we're gonna have one tablespoon of the bubble mix. And this is a messy craft, everyone. All right, always make certain it's level. And the instructions say add a few drops of food coloring. Now from my experimenting, I'm going to add three drops of food coloring because I really want my color to show up when the bubbles pop on my paper. All right. One other thing I really love about these food coloring, it's very easy to pull off the tops. One, two, three. All right, and then we're gonna mix. Make certain that all the food coloring distributes and you don't have any clumps in the bottom. All right, and there is my green. All right, let me see, what color do I wanna start with first? Hmm, I'm gonna start with yellow since we're having a sunshiny day today. And like I said, this is a very messy craft. Boop. I can see that choosing, whoops, three dots of food coloring is going to be a perfect choice. All right, I'll put that back. And I always, before I start any messy craft, I always have napkins ready. So especially for this craft, that's gonna be crucial to have some napkins ready. Let me see, what color would we like to do next? Let's do a darker color. Let's do blue. Ooh, look at how pretty that looks. Sometimes you might have to help your bubbles pop. Oops, I missed that one. Whoops, which is why I put a tablecloth down. I'm definitely not a bubble expert. Ah, he still won't pop. Pop. Look at the beautiful patterns we're making. I'm definitely not a good bubble blower. Ah, oh, that was a good bubble. That was some blue. All right, let me do some red. I'm gonna dry off my 
on first before I start another color. It might be good for this craft to put some gloves on, but we didn't have any. But if you have some gloves at home, it might be good to put those on. Ah, the red one seems to be acting better. Either that or my skill level's going up with bubble blowing. Perfect. 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 All right, I'm gonna wipe my wand off again. And we only have one color left. We're gonna do some green. I'm gonna switch to my other wand. I'm gonna do some green. Keep missing. As you can see, I'm not doing that well with the green. But the best part about this craft is it's not perfect. And you can always repeat your colors as you need for your bubble painting. Yeah, the green just isn't doing as well as the blue and the red and the yellow did. There is our masterpiece for today.